Singing the national anthem tonight is Dominique Nelson. Dominique will be going on to study biology and run track and field at the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh next year. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangle banner yet Good evening. My name is Ryan Peed. This year I've had the honor of serving as Southwest's student body president, and tonight I have the honor of serving as the mistress of ceremonies. I would like to welcome you all to tonight's event. Although different than what we envisioned and hoped for, still an occasion to honor and recognize how great the class of 2020 is. I'm going to start off with saying thank you. To the Southwest staff, the love and support you have given the class of 2020 does not go unrecognized and is truly appreciated. This year especially, it has been amazing to see how the Southwest community comes together in times of challenge. Southwest is special because of the people who make it so, and because of all of you, Southwest has been a place for us to grow, learn, and discover ourselves. We miss you. To our friends and families, thank you for always supporting us and giving us the opportunities to be here today. Thank you for uplifting and fighting for us over these hard couple of months. More than ever, we needed people to lean on, and you were there. Thank you for being our biggest fans, our strongest challengers, our most passionate advocates, and our greatest admirers. To anyone else watching tonight, whether it's alumni, former and future coaches, or coworkers, thank you for supporting our journey along the way. The last few months have been quite the wild ride, to say the least. What we have gone through is truly historic, and someday I think we will be able to appreciate our place in history. The class of 2020 will truly never be forgotten. In the meantime, it has been easy to get wrapped up in what we have lost. We started off the year losing senior quotes and silly senior ID pictures, and then ended the year losing some of the things we were looking forward to the most. Senior ball, one senior skip day, and a traditional graduation. During this challenging time, it is easy to focus on the negative, but tonight I would like to celebrate not only the good times we had, but the accomplishments we have made and the moments we have shared. Our freshman year, we won powder puff for the first time in Southwest history, and no, our quarterback did not cross the line of scrimmage. We won every spirit week fair and square and set the record for the number of times the student section chanted, she's a freshman. Our sophomore year, we watched the Trojan football team advance to one game away from state and enjoyed the newfound freedom of getting a driver's license. Our class played a huge role in putting on two great musicals, one of them never done before. Junior year, we, we juggled athletics, upperclassmen leadership, academics in the ACT, and then danced our hearts out at our rustic romance-themed prom. Senior year started off strong <clears throat> as we enjoyed senior sunrise and homecoming week. We broke it down on the dance floor at our last homecoming and reminisced as we realized we were experiencing all of our first lasts. Besides all of these big moments, we also found joy in the small ones walking and laughing with friends in the hallways, hanging out with Spencer in the weight room, or maybe Roger and Ashley in the cafeteria, going out to lunch to Noodles and Company maybe one too many times, or simply just getting excited to see your best friends every day in class. Our class quote says it best, I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. I might be biased, but the class of 2020 is one of the best classes to walk through the halls of Southwest. 
There is something about our class that just makes it extraordinary, and I think we all know how lucky we were to be a part of it. If there's anything I think we should take away from the last few months, it's that we truly never know how much time we are going to get. I know, it's cheesy, and some of you are definitely rolling your eyes right now, but it's true. Do what makes your soul happy, say your I love yous, and make the most of your time. A lot of the things that seemed to matter a few months ago are now irrelevant, and we realize that it's the people we've always had that truly matter. My peers, I may not have had the chance to talk to all of you or even meet all of you, but I wouldn't have wanted to go through these four years with anyone else. I truly wish every single one of you the very best in the future, and I know that we are going to do great things, whether it is in college, the workforce, or the military. I'm going to end my speech with a quote I found scrolling through Pinterest one day when I probably should have been doing my homework. If that doesn't sum up online school, I don't know what does. It goes like this. Everything will work out exactly how and when it is supposed to, regardless of how and when you may want it to. Let your faith in the journey be stronger than your doubts and fears. You will get there one day, so don't forget to enjoy the journey too. To the class of 2020, thank you and congrats. Our next speaker tonight is Lucas Bassani. Next year, Luke will be going on to study business at the University of Alabama. About four years ago, I gave one of the graduation speeches at Lombardi Middle School. Some of my personal favorite lines from that speech were, we have faced many challenges. For example, the chocolate chip muffins are, are no longer available at a la carte. And personally, I want to be the guy who puts stickers on fruit. Thankfully, my aspirations have changed and we have faced many more real challenges which allowed us to get where we are today. Graduation, the day we've all worked for and looked forward to our entire lives. But I know none of us expected it to turn out like this. We never thought our last Cookie Wednesday would be in March or that we would lose our spring sports season, concerts, senior ball, awards banquets, toga day, and, and countless other activities that we looked forward to. We all expected to walk down that aisle at UWGB with hundreds of people in the audience. But I don't look at the fact that ours is different as a bad thing. I look at it as something that just makes us more unique. I mean, I always knew our class was special, and I knew that we left a mark on our, our school and community. I just didn't expect us to be the first class to graduate without us all in the same room, a building even. Look, but if you talk to your parents, they probably don't remember their high school graduation, but, but I can guarantee you this graduation is one that we and everyone is going to remember forever. And we did it. We went through high school living through phases that ranged from Pokemon Go to doing the Renegade. And although they might not seem like challenges, running out of Pokeballs is super frustrating. And not only that, on a more serious note, we made it through all of those tests, performances, sporting events, study sessions, and Moe's Mondays during our lunch hours. The parents, teachers, and students at Southwest High School made an immense effort to make those good and trying experiences better for us all. I noticed in my classes teachers focusing more on how us students were doing personally rather than necessarily completing their coursework. If they saw us happy, they counted that as a win, and that's what makes the Southwest staff so special. You saw our parents and families not looking out for only their own kids, but also others, trying everything they can to make our years in school easier, and I am so thankful for that. But the group that I truly couldn't have done this without is you guys, my peers, my friends, my family. You all made going to school easy. I saw us help each other in every way, shape, and form, and I am excited to see us all pursue our own separate paths in the years to come, whether it be military, college, or entering straight into the workforce. You guys are all going to do great things and be successful because we're a great class. We're awesome. We are a group of individuals who are all a piece of the Southwest Class of 2020 puzzle. 
and without even one of us, it wouldn't have been the same. Thank you and congratulations. I would now like to introduce you to Josie Wolf. Josie will be going on to study biology at the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point next year. Hello class of 2020. Even though our time was cut short together and the things that we were looking forward to ever since we started out freshman year didn't happen, we still have tons of things to look back at. When this whole journey started, kindergarten. We learned about the weather, the colors of the rainbow, and the activity we wish we still had, nap time. Then a quick eight years later, we were in high school. As freshmen, we were all scared out of our minds to walk down the halls the wrong way, rushing to make it out of class on time because we thought five minutes was 10 seconds, and finding new friends. We went to our first homecoming, had our first high school sports season, and got through our first finals week. It was a year full of firsts and moments we will never forget. Sophomore year, we got our driver's license, and junior year, we were finally upperclassmen. We took the ACT and went to junior prom. Then senior year, the year we were so excited for. Even though we didn't get to go through all the milestones of senior year, we got to see these. Our last first day of school, our last homecoming, and our last football and basketball game. We will never be able to go to senior ball, for some of us perform in our last high school sports season, say goodbye to our teachers and friends, do senior prank, which might be a good thing, participate in senior skip day, and the thing we were most looking forward to, watching the people we grew up with walk across that stage and get their diploma. To our teachers, who for some of us put a lot of light in our lives. They taught us things that we will remember forever or the week that they taught us it. For some of us, they were our people to talk to because our parents just didn't get it. They taught us to be brave, keep our heads up, and strive to be the best we can be. They took us through this hard time by keeping us busy and motivated. And most importantly, they stay motivated. When in reality, they will probably never see more missed assignments or not taken tests. We owe them a lot. One day, hopefully, we'll come back after graduating college and tell them about who we really are going to be when we grow up. Miss Fameville and her motivational Mondays, which always ended up in her crying, and Miss Chase's famous saying, rule number one, don't be dumb, and rule number two, drugs are bad. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Terrian, for taking our class of 14 to 10 after the first semester through AP Bio. We will miss your random videos that you made us watch because in AP Bio, we end when the tone rings. I hope you will finally be able to get your upper respiratory disease checked and get some more fish. Thank you, teachers. It's because of you that we made it this far. To our parents, who were our Uber drivers, meal providers, supporters, ATM machines, and so much more. They have dealt with us for the last 18 years. They have helped us through hard times, times when we felt like giving up. Sometimes they may have pushed us over the edge, especially when trying to give us advice that just seemed oblivious to us. They give us the strength and courage to go through this crazy thing called life. And most importantly, they give us the confidence and the reason of why we were put on this earth. Thank you, parents, for all that you do. High school is all about moments. Moments you will cherish and moments you will hate but will always look back at and cherish. It teaches you a lot about people and their personalities and how every person is unique and that you have to accept that. It teaches you that life goes by way too fast and that you must cherish all of it even if in the end it's smashed to pieces without warning. It teaches you about life and that it sucks, but you have to make the most of it. It teaches you about responsibility, hard work, overcoming things, and so much more. And if any of you still think you're not good enough or don't belong, you are one of 8.4 million that you could have been, so don't ever think you're not good enough. This was something that actually stuck in my head from AP Bio. And lastly, to the class of 2020, I hope your dreams take you to the corners of your smiles, to the highest of your hopes, to the windows of your opportunities, and to the most special places your heart has ever known. Thank you. Next, I would like to welcome Associate Principal Travis Lipsch to the podium. Hello, class of 2020. Every graduating class has its unique achievements and memories. From academic prowess, athletic records, musical accomplishments, 
homecomings, senior balls, and more. The 2020 graduating class also has the unique distinction of finishing high school in the midst of this pandemic. However, that should not define your class or you as individuals. Rather, let the core values that you learned at Southwest help define you and your future path, whether that is attending college, a trade school, serving in the military, or entering the workforce. Southwest mission statement and core philosophies are, together we will pursue learning, build confidence, demonstrate pride, create opportunities, encourage acceptance, and inspire greatness. I want you to know that you are prepared to move forward in this world because of these principles. Let me address several from our mission statement. The first is pursuing learning whether it is virtual, traditional, or even individual learning. One of the most important traits that you have garnered is the ability to pursue learning. From kindergarten until this year and beyond, you have the tools to pursue education and be a lifelong learner. The next is build confidence. In a time of so much uncertainty, the ability to rally the troops or help someone when they have doubts that everything will be okay and that things will get better is a skill that can inspire others and even save lives. Demonstrating pride. Having a sense of satisfaction in what you accomplished and what you will accomplish. Having this pride in yourself and your work should be a motivator for your future endeavors. By receiving this diploma, your sense of pride should embolden the fact that you are ready for what lies next. Create opportunities. Opportunities happen when hard work meets a suitable moment. Whether it is going to a four-year university, a technical college, the military, or the workforce. Hopefully the combination of hard work and a suitable moment has created a magnificent opportunity that you can build on moving forward. If you are not quite sure of what your suitable moment is, keep working hard and things will happen for you. Encouraging acceptance. To me, encouraging acceptance is what aligns with our district's mission of being community ready. Giving back to your neighbor or coworker, volunteering, or even just be willing to see others' points of view. Encouraging acceptance is needed today more than ever. Inspire greatness. This last aspect is why we are Trojans. Inspiring multiple generations with your spirit, leadership, and ability to unite rather than divide is what will define you, the class of 2020. I know that you have inspired me by your greatness. I look forward to seeing how you will change the world at a time when the world is ready to be redefined. Congratulations, class of 2020. Be strong, be safe, and go Trojans. This man needs no introduction, but joining us now is Southwest Principal Rod Bohm. Hello, and welcome to this very special event where we will be honoring Green Bay Southwest High School's 55th senior class. To begin, I would like to honor and thank some special people that are watching this wonderful event. First, I would like to recognize all those that have served or are currently serving along with the graduating seniors that are serving in the armed forces. Thank you. Thank you for your selfless, courageous, and dedicated service to ensure our safety and our freedom. We salute you as you are true American heroes. Also, I would like to express my deep sense of gratitude for all of the health care providers and essential workers that have showcased compassion and sacrifice to support our communities. You are role models, and we thank you. Next, I would like to thank the Green Bay Area Public School District Board of Education, Dr. Michelle Langenfeld, our superintendent, our associate superintendents, Vicki Beyer and John Magus, and our executive director of secondary schools, Judy Wiegand. 
Thank you for your unwavering dedication and commitment to the students, families, and staff of the Green Bay Area Public School District and Southwest High School. And a shout out to the immensely talented and dedicated and caring Green Bay Southwest High School staff. Each of you have dedicated your lives to inspiring and influencing others without ever expecting anything in return. You are amazing. And seniors, it is now time to honor, to honor you and share some final heartfelt thoughts. Green Bay Southwest High School, people of courageous determination and energy. This bold statement is displayed proudly above the main office doors with the hope that during the past four years, it has served as a daily reminder of two important elements that are needed to lead you in the direction of success and ultimately to be at your very best. On behalf of the Southwest High School staff, I am proud to proclaim that these seniors have achieved tremendous levels of success by definition and through their actions. During their time at Southwest High School, our students and staff have worked in unison to create opportunities to learn and grow and succeed through experiences as individuals, groups, and teams. I'd like to highlight just two uh, areas that showcase the talents of the senior class of 2020. First, this year's class has earned $1.1 million worth of scholarships. Since the class of 2011, the Southwest graduates have earned $15.5 million in scholarships. Secondly, more than 83% of this year's seniors are college bound and 13 seniors are entering the armed forces. These are two wonderful tributes that begin to reveal the greatness of the senior class. The entire Green Bay Southwest High School learning community and the Green Bay Area Public School District are certainly proud of you. And seniors, you should be proud of your accomplishments as well. And of course, you're not done yet. Class of 2020, your high school chapter within, uh, within your life story has now been written. And it may be used as a springboard to the next chapter of your life. It is my hope that during the next chapter, it will reveal meaningful and significant lessons from high school that will lead to new and meaningful growth experiences and become an incredible highlight reel that will showcase some very exciting achievements and successes. The next chapter also lends itself as a new time to become more mindful and focused, more caring and aware of the world, more grateful and full of grace, and that you will reveal more and more about your own genius and splendor. We all hope that your next chapter is full of story after story of great happiness, joy, fulfillment, and success. However, there will be no guarantee for that because at times life can be a challenge. There's hardships and exceptional difficulties. During these times, you may find that you begin to question yourself, even who you are or your ability to stay strong, asking questions such as, can I do this? Can I really do this? You may feel empty, insignificant, overwhelmed, and even full of doubt. Sometimes the best we can do during these times is just exist and survive in the moment. There will be others that will try to offer what they feel is good advice by telling you to bury your thoughts and emotions. But these feelings and emotions and difficult moments are a part of us a part of us as human beings, a part of being alive. We need to respond accordingly and appropriately during these times. These challenging moments present opportunities for growth and help us gain strength, courage, determination, energy, resilience, momentum, the list could go on, all to improve our lives. However, to do this well, you must exist within the moment. Be mindful of your thoughts take a step back and realize you don't need to buy into every thought, every idea that is in your mind, especially those thoughts, if listened to, may begin to create feelings of overwhelming and even limiting feelings. You and your potential are limitless and full of greatness and your strength and courage runs deep. 
Overcome difficult times by learning to push through difficult moments. Refocus and channel the energy to something positive and be, sig and be significant. Gain support and confidence by learning and leaning on trusting those that care and love you. These are the experiences that will undoubtedly contribute to you while revealing and defining what greatness and success is going to look like for you and feel like for you. Seniors, as Trojans and as people of courageous determination and energy, please pursue what the late Stephen Covey identified as everyday greatness, a greatness that tends to be more quiet by nature, one that generally escapes the headlines. Yet it is a greatness that, in my opinion, is de deserving of higher and even more respectful honor. Everyday greatness has to do with character and contribution. Everyday greatness is a way of living, not a one-time event. It says more about who a person is than what a person has. And it is portrayed more by the goodness that radiates from a face than the title on a business card. It speaks more about people's motives than their talents, more about small and simple deeds than extravagant accomplishments. And everyday greatness is humble. Soon each of you will go your separate way with an opportunity to live a life of greatness and succeed at home, at work, in college, in your community. No matter what your circumstance may be, such a decision can be made by you. You have the power to make a new tomorrow and to decide to live a great life. Living a great life is enhanced when you find the passion, that which serves as a source of inspiration, renewal, and energy. As I bring this to a close, I want to share a brief book excerpt that holds special meaning for me, and I hope it will spark something within you as well. It is called Love the Game. When you hear the words love the game, please think about your talents. Also think about what it is that brings you joy and passion, gets you excited, makes you want to get up in the morning. You can create your own meaning to the phrase love the game. Here it is. Love the game for the pure joy of accomplishment. Love the game for everything it can teach you about yourself. Love the game for feeling of belonging to a group endeavoring to do its best. Love the game for being involved in a team whose members can't wait to see you do your best. Love the game for the challenge of working harder than you ever have at something and then harder than that. Love the game because it takes all team members to give it life. Love the game because, because at its very best, the game tradition will now include your contributions. Love the game because you belong to a long line of fine people who have loved it. It is now your legacy. Love the game so much that you will pass on the love of the game to another athlete who has seen your dedication, your work, your challenges, your triumphs, and then that person will, because of you, love the game. Seniors, you are what is right in this world. Each of you has inspired us touched our hearts and given us hope for a brighter tomorrow. We are better people because you have been in our lives the last four years. In closing, each of you will go a different way, different direction. I hope you will keep in your heart and carry with you during your life's journey the Green Bay Southwest Trojan vision. Together we will. Together we will pursue learning, build confidence, demonstrate pride, create opportunities, encourage acceptance, and inspire greatness. Keeping these as priorities in your life will help you to recognize abundance, see possibilities, stretch yourself to the edge so that you can be at your best for the world. And today, arguably more than any other time in our history, the world needs Southwest seniors, people of courageous determination and energy to be difference makers. Let's fill the history books with your amazing stories of triumph, will, achievements, overcoming obstacles, love and compassion. And on behalf of the entire Green Bay Southwest High School staff, I would like to congratulate all the seniors and wish each of you a lifetime of happiness. 
Superintendent Michelle Langenfeld as principal of, principal of Green Bay Southwest High School. I am very pleased and proud to present to you the Southwest High School Class of 2020. They are our hope of yesterday, our joy of today, and our guarantee of a better tomorrow. Thank you. It is my honor and privilege on behalf of the Board of Education and the administration to congratulate you, the senior class of 2020. In my last year serving as superintendent in the Green Bay Area Public Schools, like you, the class of 2020, I had envisioned a very different end to the 2019-20 school year. Like you, I looked forward to celebrating your high school graduation with you, with your administrators, teachers, family, and friends. At times like this, I am reminded of the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He said, we must accept finite disappointment, but we must never lose infinite hope. Needless to say, I am disappointed, but I am very hopeful that someday in the near future, we will be able to celebrate the graduating class of 2020 in person and that I will have the opportunity to look you straight in the eye and personally extend my congratulations to each and every one of you. Since March 13th, I have written the more than 3,000 district staff a weekly update related to COVID-19. And I always begin with a quote from the late great Vince Lombardi who said, the measure of who we are is what we do with what we have. In my weekly updates to staff while I share the current realities of COVID-19, I look for the positives and focus on the incredible and extraordinary work that our staff's been doing. Teaching students at home, serving 10,000 meals each and every day, printing and mailing educational resources to families, writing grants that support weekend meals and essential school supplies, and all of the other necessary functions to keep Wisconsin's fourth largest school district running while we are apart. Class of 2020, like our staff, you too had to make the best of the circumstances that were thrust upon you during this public health emergency. During the last few months, you've had to make the most with what you had. And here's what you had. You had a pandemic that closed your school buildings, requiring you to connect in very different ways with your classmates, teachers, coaches, administrators, and all staff who support you each and every day at school. You had a spring that was missing proms, senior balls, athletics, and all the many traditions that are a part of a normal school year and instead you had social distancing, the governor's safer at home order, and learning virtually from home. You had a school year without closure. Yearbooks were mailed home, locker cleanups completed by staff, curbside drop off of books and laptops, and only virtual end of the year celebrations and banquets, award ceremonies, athletic and military signings. But you also had dedicated administrators and teachers who worked tirelessly to ensure your educational as well as social and emotional needs were met. You had adults who turned over every stone to find a way to celebrate you and your high school graduation. Whether it was looking into a combined graduation ceremony at Lambeau Field, parking lot graduation ceremonies, drive-in movie theater-like graduations. It was truly, truly an extensive list. But at the end of the day, the district needed to follow the guidelines provided to ensure that everyone would remain healthy and safe. Instead, you had senior strong yard signs and visits from school staff. You had billboards across the city school colors shining on the Fox River from the Ray Nitschke and Walnut Street bridges, virtual award ceremonies, and virtual graduations. And you also had, and very importantly, the love, the support, the respect, and the pride of your families, your friends, your teachers, your staff, your administrators, all who had been there, not only during this unprecedented time, but throughout your entire educational journey. 
and we are all ready to share in the exciting future that is waiting for you. As I reflect on our time here in Green Bay, we've been together, class of 2020, nine years. And in that time, I think I have a pretty good understanding of the measure of who you are. The class of 2020 is resourceful, creative and innovative, and very respectful as well. And you have been extremely responsive to our current reality. You have persevered. You have grit. The class of 2020 is dedicated to not only improving yourselves, but also your schools and your community. The class of 2020 is willing to make sacrifices to ensure the health and safety and well-being of family, of friends, and the greater community. You have saved lives by your actions. The class of 2020 is able to move beyond disappointment and express gratitude to everyone who has done their very best on your behalf. You are demonstrating positivity and flexibility as plans certainly have changed. You know, there's nothing like a pandemic to force you into adulthood. And in response, you have grown and you have matured exponentially because of what you have experienced. And I am confident that the experience has shaped you in ways that have prepared you well for your future plans, whether you're heading off to a four or two year college, a technical college, the military, or the workforce. Today is a day to celebrate all that you have accomplished throughout your educational career, the growth that you have experienced living with and during a pandemic will not only forever change you, but strengthened and challenged you in ways that set you apart from any and all senior classes that have come before you and will come after. You continue to make us proud. In closing, as you go forward, remember what Vince said, the measure of who we are is what we do with what we have. Class of 2020, here is what you have. You have the opportunity to reimagine and reinvent the world. You have the potential in the years to come to be measured as the greatest and most influential class of young men and women who have reinvented and critically important, successfully, successfully transformed and changed our world for the better. My congratulations to each of you. Let's do this again in person very soon. Please be safe and well. Latasha Abbott. Adea Abdi. Musa Abdi Kadir. Asma. Abdullahi Dak Abdullahi Abdi Nasir Abdirama Mahad Abdirama Rami Abdul Baki Sulika Abid Najib Adam Palestine, Ahmed.
Sierra Anand. Ahmed Arawi. Autumn Albert. Marcus Apps. Marshall F. Joshua Ars. Roderick Arn. Sophia Azolina. Cameron Baby. Dalton Bain. Jermaine Baby. Samira Barry. Kevin Barrett. Irving Barretta. Alexander Bartol. Hunter Batterson. Alexander Beaudry. Carissa Fedora. Isabella Bellin. Dominic Bergelin Chang. Noah Biro. Simon Bertrand Brianna Binford Madison Blank Haley Blemo Rachel Bowman Jason Balk Nakira Bowman Aaron Brown Michaela Brown Bryce Bukacek
Kaylee Booth. Ashley Busaitis. Mitchell Carruthers. Dalton Carrick. Charles Castleberg. Gwen Shaw. Isaiah Clark. Aaron Corbley. Shaylin Crack. Layla Cruz. Lawrence Curtis. Michaela Perko. Michelle Cutlin. Camden Barnaby. Cedric Dallas. Joshua Antoine. Anne DeClerc. Christian DeGroat. Damon Denny. Avery Dieterich. April Duchado. Trey Doomhope. Sabrina Duval. Isabella Ipanol. Isaac Agabrecht. Brandon Elam. Jolie Feliciano. Hannah Ferris. Reese Fieldhouse. Athena. Plumbing. Brennan Fowler. Mm -hmm. 
Aubrey Francis. Ethan Francis. Abigail Franzen. Benjamin Fredine. Albert Gamboa. Dahomey Garcia. Keisha Gauthier. Mason Gay. Alora Giesberg. Samuel Giltner. Isaac Gladowski. Alana Goki. Mercedes Gonzalez. Matthew Gorecki Peterson. Ellen Gorman. Mitchell Godfrey. Benjamin Rahova. Asher Grant. Alexis Brasaric. Isaac Grisaric. Alfred Green. Noah Gushwa. Bodhi. Paddocks. Benjamin Haynes. Trinity Hall. Ethan. Hamilton Bailey Haney Annika Hansen Jason Hansen Sophie Hannes. Ashlyn Heflin.
Connor Hendricks. Joseph Fernandez. Kelly Hintz. Grace Holmes. Tyler Hoppy. Jalen House. Michael Hughes. Ryan Humecki. Logan Perkmans. Najmo Husanur. Roman Hada. Bashir each mile. Jasmine Jackson. Ishmael Jama. Kate Jansen. Colin Jarvi. Joshua Jarvi. Jonathan. Johnson Madeline Johnson Chantel Jones Ashley Jonet Trevor Joseph Lauren Kaminsky Zachary Khan Naya Kiyomarivan Reese Kaiser Sarah Plot Cameron Kleckner Andrew Klein Nathan Klein Dyson Klopotic
Jagger Coaster. Samuel Kashala. Sean Kramer. Hussein Kuso Kyla Kusta Colin Lacombe Dominic Lalonde Allison LaPlante Braden Larson Malcolm Lawrence Megan Lawson Bandiat Logan Lee Andrew Lemire Noah Lemire Bailey Lemons Matthew Lurquin Alexis Lopez Christian Lopez Mejia Ethan Lohr Sabre Moss Alexa McCormick Bree Madison Jenica Martinson Miranda Matashevsky Colin McCabe Ashanti McCall Molly McKenna Slap Talon McCluster Tyrone Belcher Cole Metzner Kiana Mix Kendrick 
Kennedy, Milky. Jordan Miller. Nicholas Miller. Jacob Mincheski. Richard Minton. Natalia Miranda. Thea Mon. Sumaya Mohammed. Yasir Mohammed. McKenna Moore. Bailey Molin. Alexis Montano. Genesis Montano Uceda. Matthew Morales. Rafael John Moreno. Cole Mua. Jared Mountain. Raider. Murphy Dominique Nelson Olivia Nelson Keen Huyan Salina Nicholas Andrew Nutt Uma Care Omar Franklin Ortiz Ryan Keed Jordan Panas Jessica Peterson Justin Phillips Navea Fong Emma Pierce
Trey Piante. Lucas Pisani. James Plass. Luke Platkowski. Tracy Pointer. Carly Post. Maxwell Pribble. Thomas Quigley. Luis Quintana. Ashley Ramirez Itzel Ramirez Estrella Ramos Tyler Rasmussen Mariah Rauschenbach Benedict Renat Adam Reynolds Tejan Richard Eduardo Rios Enrique Real Jocelyn Royal Javon Rucker Jordan Running Bear Malia Running Bear Valeria Sagrero Rodriguez Alexandra Santos Maria Schmidt Gabrielle Schmidt Emily Schnell Aaron Shuffleman Adeline Schrader Olivia Schultz Nick 
Noah Schwartz. Alexandra Seals. Anthony Selwyn. Nathaniel Serrano. Benjamin Shepherd. Casey Sherman. Jaden Shrubno. Ashley. Law. Jaden Simmons. Laney Simonson. Federian. Smith. Andrew Zor. Brianna Spice. Hunter Stanell. Anna Stats Brooklyn Stages Nathan Stoltenberg Xavier Summers Caitlin Teal Carly Teal Kira Thomas Samantha Thompson Caitlin Torter Monsoon Vang Ariana Ventura Nova Verbumen Milda Mira Verma Aria Vigil Paige Vincent Sean Boo Keelan Ward
Jaden Wartman. Ashley Wasileski. Ashley Watts. Michael Weber. Jason Welch. Caleb Wendrick. Amy Wheelock. Kasaya White. Jonah Whiskey. Hayden Wilker. Isabella Willeman Elizabeth Williams Hannah Williams Kaylon Williams Tyler Windingstad Noah Wismer Josie Wolf Quinn Wolf Vivian Waller Zachariah Woodworth Tao Zhang Mei Zhang Bang Zhang Kainu Yang Lindsay Yang Jackson Youngworth Lucas Zernike Colby Zibel Mason Zamanik Gavin Zold Jacob Zold 